March 2, Monday of the first week of Lent. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you are blessed by my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked? And clothe you. When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me, and this will go off to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord You did for me. Pope Francis, in his 2018 Apostolic Exhortation on Holiness, Rejoice and be glad, Gaudete et exultate, Numbers 95-97, to calls this section of Matthew's Gospel the great criterion for becoming holy and pleasing in God's eyes, serving the needy and poor among us. We must learn to contemplate the face of Christ, especially in the faces of those with whom he himself wished to be identified. For Pope Francis, this is a call to recognize him in the poor and the suffering. Here, we see revealed the very heart of Jesus, the very heart of Christ, his deepest feelings and choices whichever saint seeks to imitate. Our Lord made it very clear that holiness cannot be understood if lived apart from these demands, for mercy is the beating heart of the gospel. Do I respond with faith and charity when I see a brother or a sister in need, recognizing that a person's fundamental human dignity a dignity equal to my own.